from series uh, in the syllabus I mean of O level mathematics there are few parts arithmetic progression AP or arithmetic series geometric progression or GP geometric series sometimes called then infinite series it is from bin I mean uh, GP part it is a standard part of GP then binomial expansion now my target is to start with AP I will continue in that uh, ways uh, I mean short videos uh, step by step later on I will try, try to upload that now let us start AP AP its full form is arithmetic progression now let us check what formula should we use for arithmetic progression first of all let us know what is what is arithmetic progression let me write here 2 4 6 8 10 okay now see the characteristics of this uh, I mean sequence or 4 minus 2 that is 2 same as 6 minus 4 that is 2 8 minus 6 that is 2 10 minus 8 that is also 2 let me name it common difference common difference this is denoted by t so we can define arithmetic progression if common difference are equal then the series is called arithmetic series arithmetic series or arithmetic progression okay now let's see some uh, i mean common formula from arithmetic progression first of all uh, general sequence for arithmetic progression first term will be denoted by a second term is a plus d third term a plus 2d and fourth term a plus 3d in that way it will be continued so n term will be n term it will be denoted by tn equals to a plus n minus 1 d okay this is the first formula it will be required to solve uh, arithmetic progression and this general series is also very important uh, to solve uh, I mean uh, arithmetic series now there will be uh, other formula that is for sum of n terms let us write sum of n terms okay so sn it will it will be denoted by sn s sub n n by 2 2 a plus n minus 1 d okay similarly we can write sn equals to n by 2 first term plus last term if last term given uh, last formula is very helpful uh, to solve arithmetic progression now sometimes it is also necessary to find out number of terms n that is it is this formula is helpful last term minus first term divided by common difference plus 1 and if we remember this formula we can easily find out number of terms so thank you very much